Greetings punks, goths, metalheads and herberts. My name's John and this is the Health Anarchist channel. Well today I've come out on a walk to Denton. It's a place I've not been before uh, and I've walked from Ashton under line to Denton. Now most of the walk was along very busy roads and it was very noisy so I didn't video it. So I thought I'd video the place that I've come to see. Now sometimes when you're doing health walks it's good to set yourself a goal at the end somewhere you want to go or something you want to see. So today's goal for me was St Lawrence's Church in Denton. Now it's a medieval church timber framed building and it's just amazing this place is still standing. So I'll just read you a bit about it first before we go and have a look around. St Lawrence's Church in Denton is a timber framed church in grade 2 listed building. It is one of only 29 timber frame churches and chapels in England. The chapelry of Denton was established in 1531 with the construction of the Chapel of Ease which was a bit like a halfway house or a house of rest. Then Roman Catholic in the Diocese of Lichfield and dedicated to St James. The church was rededicated to St Lawrence in 1839 and became a parish church in 1854. In 1872 the church was expanded and remodelled by J Medlin Taylor and Henry Taylor. The church features 16th century stained glass and the church was restored between 1993 and 2003 funded by Tameside MBC. Further restoration began in 2009. So I'll just give you a look of it from this side first. Closer with this old timber work, as you can see it's timber and pegs. Very old. Also, we've got this really old stained glass. There's actually lots of graves set into the uh, flags. Uh, I'll have a look at any interesting ones as we go around. So, got a really interesting view from this side. What a beautiful old building. What's mad, it's in the middle of a built up area and it's just amazing, it's uh, survived. Now that's a really nice view from this side. I wouldn't be surprised if there's been historical productions filmed here because it's uh, an amazing place. I wonder if any of you know what this is. I know what it is and I bet a lot of you do. It's a very old mountain block uh, where people could get on horses. It's like a step really next to the beautiful uh, historical bin. I mean, I am joking about the bin. Obviously, it's nice that there's a bin here so people can put the rubbish in the bin rather than just throw it all over the place. Just had a couple of lads uh, talking to me, asking me if I'd do a vlog. I said, yeah. So I'll just include them in for a minute because they wanted me to add them. And uh, yeah, there you go. All right, got, uh, yeah. got uh, your boat. Come on. <laughs> now a lot of the graves are really weather worn and hardly legible so I've not uh, took photographs of them. Now there is one grave that I found and it's still in good condition and uh, I'm not going to lie this is the grave that I really wanted to see more than any others and I'm sure some of you will love it too. Now walking up to it, now that is the coolest grave I've seen. Wow, I love it. Now there was some uh, confusion over what it is. A lot of people locally call it the pirate grave, which is fair enough, it's got the skull and crossbones, but it's actually a Masonic grave. Now if you look in the corners, you've got the Masonic symbols. And it's been researched, it is actually a Masonic grave. But what a cool looking grave. I 
I like this uh, obviously there was a doorway here at some point but uh, I like how the wood is shaped over the door I like that so so far it's a really cool place I'm just amazed it exists and uh, not far from where they live really it's definitely worth coming out for a walk and having a look at uh, fantastic so yeah this chimney is very interesting beautiful and uh, looking at the bricks I'd say they're definitely very old bricks got my own church door here I like that look how uh, low this little roof is there uh. <laughs> they do say they were small in medieval times I'm 6'2 so yeah so filming from this side we've got a really nice uh, view Right, we've got a very worn grave here, but uh, it's kind of more cruder, the uh, carving on this one. It's very worn, but I can make out the date, 1695, I think. That's the oldest grave I've found in Greater Manchester. Cool. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Thanks for coming with me, and I hope you enjoyed looking around as much as I did. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And until the next video, keep yourselves very safe. Take care. Bye.